Hi, welcome to Scar Modeler. Jace here. Glad to have your company once again. Hey, huge shout out as always, and thank you to all my incredible uh, subscribers. Thanks to everybody that watches the videos. The Farmer video that went up the last episode, close to 700 views. Really appreciate it, guys. What I really appreciate, if you actually like it, if you really do like it, if you don't hate, no drums, no skin off my nose, none off yours, hit that like button, guys. Really trying to get my viewing hours up. And I'm not sure this whole algorithm thing, not a big worry, but please, if you could do it, kids said it's important. And I said, right out. But in this video, really special, please hang, like stay with me to the end on this one. A um, couple of great new announcements there, but you have to watch straight through to the end there. It's not a long video, so hey, if my voice is annoying, switch me off, all good. But in this video, the actual unboxing, Supernatural, the AMT 125th scale, 67 Chevy Impala. Now my wife loves it. I love my wife. She's an incredible woman. And to all the mothers in Australia, this Sunday's Mother's Day, that's why I've got it. So, yeah, we're doing an unboxing of it. And also we're doing a complete build series on this. It's not a very big car. Uh, I'm sorry, big kit. Um... Having a quick peek on the back of the sprue, box, the sprue um, diagram there. Not too technical. Just going to be a little display thing for her, for her favourite uh, series. Um, don't forget sprue box and high altitude hobbies over there in the States. Sprue box in the UK. They are on our website. They currently don't have a stock. It's going across the oceans and the, you know, all that sort of stuff. But be on the lookout for that, please. Um, yeah. Once it hits their stores, um, there's pre-orders I know available at Sprewbox. Um, we're doing everything here at Outlaw to uh, make sure they're all going to be fulfilled. Just getting them across the ocean. Rightio. So, as I said, stay tuned right through. And uh, a bit later on, got some more information for you. Uh, what else? What do we got there? Hey, oh, the Chevy Impala, by the way, the Superman. Andrew from Full Ball Models is actually going to do the 124 Sam and Dean Winchester resin things for me so I can paint those little figures up and uh, yeah, she'll have those. Won't be a diorama, they can just sit there, I don't know what they do. So, without further ado guys, let's get on to the video and go. Right. Well, here we are. At the unboxing bench with the AMT 1967 Chevy Impala. Supernatural. Um, this is for my darling wife, and um, she's a big fan of the show. I've sat through every episode of every series about five times. And boy, was it fun. <laughs> no, all, all jokes aside, um, yeah, my wife loves it, so that's the most important thing to me. Um, never seen this kit, never unboxed this kit, but this is, now I've dedicated time for my YouTube channel, for my wife, for my kids and everything else, and for myself. Um, yeah, I'm getting in the building and this is going to be number one. Um, yeah, I know I've got the pans that are finished, yeah, I know I've got the Azlav to finish, and I've got a million other kits to finish, but this is very important, and, um... It will be painted in Outlaw, and as we progress through this build series, it can't be a very big, won't be a very big series because, well, I checked it out on the back, and there's only a few sprues, so it's more attention to detail. I have ordered from Full Ball Models um, the 120 fifth scale uh, resin figures of Sam and Dean for this. They're the Winchester brothers that are the main characters in the supernatural series and i'll be painting them as well so without further ado folks let's get to the unboxing we'll have a bit of a peek up here yeah. there are the lads there dean sam the chevy the storyline there amt on the back there's a sprue call out there uh what have we got on this side yep Right there. Nice looking vehicle. I did see, I 
think Chris Schumann uh, from Rocky, he's just a naturally gifted, brilliant, talented, incredible modeler. And he did the um, all the tools. So I might even see if we go that far, but we'll, for now we'll just go with opening up and uh, doing it this way. Right. We come through here. And we go. That's a teenage daughter in the background there, folks, you can hear. And, right. Let's go. Again, I try to leave the uh, plastic on top because, well, yep, takes it. Bit of artwork. Right. All the chrome parts. And naturally, this will be the first one painted with the Outlaw new chrome, folks. So, yeah. Chrome, and we haven't named it yet. We're waiting for all you guys to give us a name for it. Chrome, you can actually clear coat and preserve that mirror. Right, we've got one, two, three, four tyres. What's the tread like on them? Yep, yeah, not too bad at all. Put that in there. Tail lights, windscreen, rear windscreen, headlights. Might even go that next step and uh, let's see if we can light it up. Right. Moving into the body of the car. Let's just uh, move this to the side. Now, instead of going willy-nilly, open at the end, I can slide it back in the bag. And there we go. Get that just over there. Right, let's have a look at the finish of this. Okay. Right. Yeah, she's been rubbed around a bit. She's going to need a bit of love and attention on that. There's a couple of yeah, seam lines. Roof's a bit... Second hand, might do a bit more detail in here. Yep, yeah, not not too bad at all. What have we got under the bottom? Yeah, right under tray. Yeah, and there's the chassis. So we'll go with that. What's it there? I'm just wondering, I'm looking at a couple of... Was this actually on a sprue at one point? Because there's a couple of... Where it's, a couple of sharp bits here that... Well, of it, like that, they were on a sprue at one stage. I don't know, folks, if you've uh, had one of these and... Um, yeah, let me know, because, uh, yeah, it seems a bit odd. Let's go that way, shall we? Put that back in its bag, upside down, there we go. Let me just pull that. Again, yeah, multiple sprues in a bag. I've never been a fan of it. Um, yeah, save the planet and all that, but really. Now, this was port, bought from RCMA Hobby Shop, Brendale in Queensland, and they were really great on the phone. Um, it was off their eBay site, and yeah. Not much flash on this. Truly not much flash at all. Pretty impressive, that. Um, I don't have my big glasses on, the magnifiers on, but as far as with the naked eye, not too shabby there. Ah, oh, looks like uh, the rear, yep, rear seat, rear deck, rear, rear deck lid there. Seems very hard, this plastic, very hard plastic. Front bench. Um, that bonnet needs a good clean up there. 
couple of sinks. Yeah, nice under under the hood. What we've got in interior, interior door trim here, yeah, front and back. Uh, the wheels. Yeah, let's move that to there. Oh, actually, let's just put it all back in. <sighs> I'd lose my mind, so you know, plastic parts are even easier. So let's put that back in. Last screw box, screw bag. Now, I don't take out the clear stuff, folks, unless you know, I'm going to be using it. I'm not trying to lessen the amount of effort that I have to go into you know, damaging things as it is with my lack of skills. Right, right we've got the motor here. Um, block, heads, dashboard, firewall, fan, fan shroud, looks like a water pump there, some lines, manifold, belt, sump, eh, not too, not too bad at all. Alright, we'll put that one there. Moving on, what are they, the, yeah, they look like the inner rims there. Nothing too flash. Air intake cover. Rocket cover head. Rocket cover covers. Carby. Um, yeah, springs. Not sure. Some sort of leads. And yeah, exhaust. More of the exhaust, your diff, and your drive line. Right. Decals, here we go. Oh, okay, don't cut through there. <laughs> Be like that. Okay, this is one of those days, is it? Okay, not a problem. I've got a really nice sharp scalpel that will not go through AMT plastic. Here we go. Right, well this is a bit disappointing. Oh, it's not actually. Um, decals are okay here. You've got the supernatural hologram, or pentagon, pentagram, whatever they call them. Two sets of number plates, some dash decals. Uh, Chevy badge. Another one there. Could be indicator. Uh, tail lights. I'm not sure. I'm not sure they are. I'll find them out later. But we'll go to the uh, instructions after we put this back in the uh, bag there. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a very simple kit. Now, do I go to the trouble of going all out and overboard on it? Well, it's for the wife, so probably, yeah. Um, putting it in power, there's normally a good bit of boot space and stuff. Um, now, this one, as we notice, had a seal boot, so I think Shui's actually gone to the point of creating a boot for it. So, yeah. Right, Supernatural join the hunt. Read this before you begin. Ta -da. Right. Well, get yeah, normal AMT instructions, and there's, well, not much to them, is there, really? Look. But, it, you know, if it's just a display for the wife, all good. So we'll go turn it in for you. Engine assembly. Suspension. Swing arms, all that sort of stuff. Mounting the board of the chassis rails there. Dash, interior, not much in the interior. Very simple car. Clear pieces fitted, what firewall. 
mounting the uh, body to the chassis there and the interior there. All right, what are we looking at? Fitting the rest of the pieces there. Attaching the exhaust system. Bit of a paint thing there. Paint guide with the wheels and rims. Final assembly, attaching your uh, tyres, hood. And then uh, mirrors, windscreen wipers. Um, steps in assembling the uh, headlights there. And what does it actually say? I'm gonna, I can't read this upside down. Looking here, so there you go, decal there, decal for the, on top of the air intake there. Where have we got any more decals here? It's going to say anywhere, anywhere. I'm uh, looking, 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 folks. Uh, oh, hang on, what have we got here? Yeah, just another decal there. That's larger decal there. And okay, radio, so we know where they go. Right. Um, tail lights. Decals front and rear bumper. Not seeing any, any more decals on here, so I'm not sure what's to happen with those supernatural decals themselves. Uh, nothing on the tyres. Now here's the um, paint call out. Quite a few. Um, Exterior colours, 67 Chevy Impala factory paint colours include MI White Tuxedo Black, Nantucket Blue, Deep Water Blue. Okay, so that's what they would have came in. Interior colours, the standard ones are black, red, bright, blue, parchment, black or gold. Additional colour references can be researched online. Then you've got it in your French, I think that, that is there. Right, so we'll be using the Outlaw on this, Outlaw Paints, and uh, yeah, I can tell you this will look absolutely gorgeous. We shall put that back in, actually decals can go there, I'll like protecting them there. We'll work our way backwards, so this one, look at that, came out of the box and I go back in the box. Two, one row, three. Oh, is it there? Oh, chrome could be under here. Not worry about scratching that chrome because, well, as we all know, it's going to be outlawed. Right, look at that go beautifully, not back in the box, even though it, it all went back in the same way it came out. Now, Again, only paid forty nine ninety nine from RCMA, a hobby and model shop in Brendale, Queensland. Uh, I think it was nine ninety five postage, so not too bad at all. Only ordered this on Tuesday, I believe. Got here Friday, but yeah, looking forward to doing this. So stay tuned, folks. Over the weekend, we'll get the first episode up of the commencement of this build. Um, so yeah, let's switch back and I'll say my goodbyes and in three, two, one. Wow, how good was that folks? Well, it was good for me. I really enjoyed it. If you're here still, thanks for hanging around. Here's the news. We had a little bit of a test run, Braden and I, with Outlaw Paints, the YouTube episode, uh, YouTube website. Go and see it guys. Uh, it's only pretty much, you might have seen it, the Holden Effigy colours I did a spray out. So I've taken this video and put it on that just for a test run. Already up to 30-something subscribers and quite a few views, guys. If you could peek over there for this Friday coming, 
you'll see the first proper episode and some spray outs of the new military colours from Outlaw Paint. But, there's more. Braden and I have decided, since we're really focused on our on uh, Outlaw Paints and our company and we're very proud of it, that every three months there'll be a $500 voucher given away. Um, not including shipping guys, so wherever you are in the world, but every purchase of Outlaw Paints gets you in the running. Uh, gets you one ticket. So um, if you purchase something over fifty dollars, you get if you fifty dollars one ticket, hundred dollars two tickets, and if you go the one hundred and thirty, which includes your free shipping, you'll actually get three tickets of, on Outlaw Paints. But stay tuned. Make sure you go and see us there. The first episode, the real first episode, is this coming Friday. Um, I think it's about 7pm we'll have it scheduled for, so please stay tuned for that. Anyway guys, besides thanking Monique from Mickey Sticky, Wayne from BB's Hobbies, uh, the RCMA Hobby and Model Store there in um, Brisbane, thanks for getting the Supernatural car out to me ASAP, really appreciate it, go and check them out. Also, folks, um, what have we got? Andrew from Full Ball. Oh, and I can't forget the boys. Aussie Model is live. Hibbo, Pete, and we've even got Bilge coming in occasionally, which is great. Um, but Pete Holroyd, he's uh, Oscar modelling there. And Hibbo, Hibbo's model bent. Only a week away from a new premises for him. So go and check out their channels, folks. They're in the description there. But, folks, that's it real quick. And as I say... It's all good and catch you later.